We're looking down the sink because the garbage disposal is right here and the garbage disposal came loose and it got gross and I'm having to clean the parts. Let me go show you. Here I am in the bathroom because the other sink is out of commission and I'm cleaning off the parts and I noticed that the gasket that goes between the disposal parts and uh, the sink is paper and it's just, it's falling apart and shredding and I think this is a good excuse for some practical 3D printing. Let's go design us a new gasket. I went and grabbed my calipers and zero these bad boys out. It says zero. Let's bring it out and measure the inner diameter. Again, this is just a ballpark, I think. We'll call that 90. Let's just call it 90 for good measure. The outer diameter is going to be, what is that? 116, that doesn't make any sense, but we'll call it 116, okay. We're gonna make us a 90 millimeter inner diameter, 116 millimeter outer diameter gasket. Now, now we need to measure the thickness, which I'm guessing can be arbitrary a bit, but what does that say? That says, does that say two? That says two. Okay, we've got 90 millimeters inner diameter, 116 outer diameter, and two millimeters thick. Uh, I've got the Zix printer and I have the flexible filament there. Let's go see what we can do. All right, now we're in my office and uh, I'm gonna go to my computer here and I'm gonna design us a gasket in Fusion 360. There we go. So in Fusion 360, I drew a 90 millimeter circle, I drew a 116 millimeter circle, and then I hit E for extrude, and I brought it up two millimeters, and now I'm gonna go print that on the Zix with ProFlex. Here it is in Simplify 3D. Let's go through the process settings. I'm using Zix, ProFlex, okay, good, 100% infill, layers of 0.2, that's fine. Temps are 230, that's great. Speeds 20 millimeters per second. I like that. Let's hit prepare to print. And according to this, it's gonna take one hour and 45 minutes. Nothing but quality here. That gives me time to get some ice cream. All right, let's put this to the printer. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. So while it's printing on the Zix, let's talk about this. This is the ultimate use of 3D printing, right? This is something broken in my house that not only was I able to measure, I was able to then model in Autodesk Fusion 360. I was able to export as an STL file. I was able to slice that in Simplify 3D. I was able to save the G code to an SD card, put it in this machine, and in an hour and a half, hour 45, I'm going to have a brand new part, and it's an upgraded part. So this is cool. This is practical printing. This, this is the future. Go, little printer, go. Go, go, go. Look at that, we're at 50%. Look at it go. Look at it go so, so fast. There it goes, all right, 50%, should be done in another 30 minutes. Uh, good morning. Apparently while I was waiting for it to finish printing, I fell asleep, so <laughs> happy day. Good morning, let's get it off the build plate. Once we get it peeled up from the build plate, then we can start to work our way around. And there we go. One gasket, 100% infill. Let's go try it out. All right, here we are in the bathroom. Here's our old gasket. Let's just put that on top, see if it matches. That's a pretty good match. All right, it's gotta go on this. Let's flip it over. <laughs> 
perfect fit. Look at that. It is a perfect fit. Wow. Awesome. All right. I'm going to go get this installed. Let's see if it works. The garbage disposal is all installed. It's got a clean connection. Everything's attached. We go up above. We turn on the sink. Let's see what happens. Spin. So below, we're dripping any water. We're dripping any water. I see no water dripping. None. None. Okay, this is awesome. All right, let's take a step back and talk about what happened. Looks like our project is done. Let's wrap it up. So there's no leaks. There's no water dripping. I verified that the garbage disposal disposes of garbage. The old gasket is a cardboard thing and I don't believe it was meant to get wet, but I can see how it failed because it did get wet. The new gasket made with the flexible Zix material on the Zix printer, it's doing a fantastic job. It, everything tightened up just great, and I'm looking forward to years of performance from that. Like I said before, this is the future of 3D printing, practical printing, fixing things around the house, being able to create parts that aren't available to you because the store is closed or because the company has gone out of business. That's nirvana. That's the best part of it. So if, if you guys have stuff around the house that's broken, if you guys have things that you need to create, good luck doing it. I wish you the best. This was fun. All right, now it's the morning. I got to go brush my teeth and have some breakfast. <laughs> thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. A big thanks to everybody that supports me. Good luck with your own prints. As always, high five.